We've definitely got the sense from everybody that's ever worked on a Marvel Studios project that you have a bunch of creative freedom and you can ask to use whatever the hell you want or whoever the hell you want in this case. But there's a pretty high percent chance that they're going to say no. And that no is accompanied with complete silence or them telling you we have other plans, just don't do it or acknowledge it. So let's get to that and WandaVision. <laughs> You know, I don't blame Marvel Studios for being secretive and locking down info and trying to spread the spoilers from hitting the internet. Because if you look at people that go out of their way to tease all these spoilers and things that you're not going to be able to uncover, such as J.J. Abrams and the mystery box, everything leaks because of his hubris. It just does, because that's what he does. He teases it and he pretends like he's above the fans and the fans are able to figure everything out. And then the end product ends up being Star Trek Into Darkness and everybody saw that entire movie coming before it ever shot because the mystery box is god-awful. And I think pretty much everybody has learned from that. Now, we've seen a bunch of leaks from the likes of Mandalorian and other Star Wars shows, and it just seems like, um, well, leaks in regards to Star Wars are something that's just become commonplace. Marvel Studios, though, Kevin Feige and co. seem to have locked everything down, and that's due to the nature of their secrecy. So recently, the showrunner for WandaVision, he talked a little bit about the MCU approach, and how much freedom they were allowed. And he has a pretty extensive few paragraphs quote that I'm not going to go into. I'll just pull out the little things here. But he talked about, first and foremost, the freedom that they were allowed to go in different directions, to what they wanted to tackle, the story they wanted to tell, some of their own things they wanted to put in there. But then it got very restrictive. And this is because when they wanted to use certain characters from the Marvel Universe, they were not allowed to. It's further then elaborated upon that Marvel characters from various other corners of the Marvel Universe, pretty much you ask and they just go, no, we have plans for that and we have ideas where we can go with them and they can't be applied here. And they don't tell you what the ideas are, any of the answers or anything. It's just a straight up no we have other plans. And I think honestly, this is probably the best thing you could do because it spreads lies or spoilers from getting out there and you keep it very secretive. And again, this is how they've been doing it with Marvel Studios when actors didn't even know what scenes they were recording or who they were talking to and things like that. This just keeps everything locked down. And it's one of these things where, let's say, for example, and I'm just using this as a hypothetical, but if they were like, hey, can we use Omega Red, for example, because we've known that they wanted to use him before, they might say no, and that's it. Well, why can't we use Omega Red? It's just a no. Maybe you can't use him because he's going to be one of the first characters that shows up in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so you can't use them in WandaVision or something like that, right? So they have ideas and they have a bigger scope and plan of what's happening down the road, and you can't use these things because they don't fall into that plan. Like, for example, they can't use Nova because they know what they're going to do with Nova down the road. They just can't tell anybody else working on anything else that might want to use Nova or hint towards it because it's not the project they want him in. So I like this approach to secrecy, but also you can see how it could be problematic when you just get told, no, move, move along, don't ask any more questions. 